points can be a bit frustrating and intimidating, especially if it's your first time. I know I get a lot of messages from you guys saying, I want to take my bearings out, but I don't know how. I don't want to mess them up. You know, they are a bit expensive. Well, if you're not, because in this video, I want to show you several different ways to take out your bearings and put them back in using several different types of tools. And one of these tools I know all of you guys will have. So let's go ahead and take a look at the list of the tools we're going to be learning how to use. A reflex utility tool. A bearing buddy. A sure grip bearing press and puller. And something all of you guys should have. An axle. So I'm going to start showing you the plastic hub. What you're going to want to do is get your utility tool and find the part that has the little nub on it. This enables you to pull and press the bearings. So you're going to want to stick that down into the bearing. And then you're going to want to get a firm grip on both the tool and the wheel. Now you're going to make a prying motion like you're going to pry open, or pry open a bottle or take a bottle cap off. Okay? So if it doesn't come out with you doing it like that, you can try going the opposite way. Now if that still doesn't work, you can rock in between the two and it will rock or walk the bearing out. It takes a little bit of time, but you know, it comes out. Okay? So now that the bearing's out, we're going to put it back in. So all you have to do is press it in with your fingers just a little bit, just enough to where it sits in there by itself without you having to hold it. Take your tool, the same end that you used to pry it out with, stick that down in there. Now you're going to want to take your palm and put it on the top and your other palm on the bottom. Twist it over and then squeeze it in. What you're going to do is hold the wheel sideways, take the tool and push upward like you are going to pry it out. But instead of trying to just pry it out, you're going to want to pull away. So just pull away like that. If it doesn't come out like that, you're going to want to hold it a bit upside down and do the same thing but just pull downward instead of out this way since you're holding the wheel upside down. And that will help it come out a lot easier. Now putting it back in is the exact same as with the plastic hub. You just stick it in and then push down. And that's how you use the Reflex Utility Tool. Alright, when using the bearing buddy, you're going to want to stick it in between the two bearings in the wheel. So it'll be right about in here. Now this little part right here is going to catch on the um, on the inside of the bearing. So you can hear it catching, you hear that? Now if it goes all the way in and you can see it on the other side catching the other bearing, that's too far, okay? So you're going to want to have it in about right here to where you can hear it catch on just this one bearing. Now with the plastic hub, what you're going to want to do is rock it out just like you did with the Reflex Utility Tool. Okay? So that's how you get it out. Now putting it back in, you're just going to want to hand press it in just a little bit, sit it on a flat surface, and just press it in. And you can also use a hammer and just tap it in. Using the bearing buddy with aluminum hub wheels, I'm going to have to show you with two different ones. Now this one has a loose bore and this one has a tighter bore. Now with the loose um, bore one, you're just going to stick the bearing buddy down in there where it catches and just pull it up. And it should just come out really easy like that. Now with the tighter one, you're going to have to work at it a little bit. You're going to have to walk it out just like you did with the plastic hub. But once it gets to about halfway out, it's kind of hard to get it out because it won't. you can't really wiggle it too much without it getting crooked. So you're going to have to get a little aggressive with it and start pulling at it a little bit harder. And eventually, it'll come out. Okay. Now to put them back in, with the loose one, all you really have to do is just sit it in there and just push it in with your fingers. Now with the tighter bore, you're going to have to push it in with your fingers just a little bit, just to where it's uh, going in right, okay? So where it's about like this. Now you're going to take it and you can tap it in, alright? But you got to be careful, don't hit your shields, just tap it around, go around in a circle, just tap it. And it should, after a little bit, after a couple rounds around the bearing, you should have it go in. It should go in pretty good. And that's how you use the bearing buddy. Using a press is probably my favorite method for taking out my bearings and uh, putting them back in. The reason why is it makes sure that your bearings go in pretty straight and it takes little to no effort to take them out and put them back in. It's pretty fast too. Mine's made by SureGrip. You don't have to have a SureGrip press. Just any press will do and it works the same way with all presses the way that I'm going to show you how to use this. Now what you're going to do is extend the lever forward. That way this little nub will come out right here. 
and you're gonna stick your wheel onto that little nub to where your bearing or the little nub goes in between the two bearings so it gets hung. You can hear that it's catching right there. Alright? Now what you're gonna do is just pull the lever down and they'll start to come out. Now if your bore is a little bit tighter, um, some aluminum hub bores will be a bit tighter and you might have a little bit of trouble getting your bearings out. All you gotta do is just rotate your wheel just a little bit and pull again. Rotate, pull, and eventually it will come out. Now the reason why it does this is because whenever you you pull your bearings with this, it pulls from the top. As you can see right here, it's catching the top part of the bearing. Now whenever you go to pull it, the bearing starts to come out, but it starts to come out, this part will come first and it'll start to pull crooked. Now all you gotta do is just rotate it. When you rotate it, it'll pull the other part that's um, that's not as far out as the, the front part, the part's getting pulled, and it'll eventually pull it out straight. So if you're having problems, if your wheel's just getting stuck, just keep rotating your wheel and pulling and it'll eventually come out. Now let me pull out the other one real quick. That one came out easy. Okay, now extend your lever forward. This is how you're going to put your bearings back in. Now you're going to pull up this little thing right here, okay, and just hand press your bearings in just a little bit just to get them started. Make sure that they are going in pretty straight. I mean, they don't have to be perfectly going in straight, but just, you know, where they're going in. And put that one in just a little bit. Now, you're going to put this on just like you're going to put your wheels onto your trucks. Pretend this is the post on your trucks or your axle. And you're just going to stick that on so the back side is going to be going down first. And the part with the lip is going to be facing upward. And just drop that down, and it'll catch right in here. And just pull the lever down. Now, same thing goes with putting putting your bearings back in. You know, whenever it starts going in crooked, if you're having a problem, just just turn your wheel and push down. Okay, just keep doing that, and it'll end up going in. And then your bearings should be in, and they should be in pretty straight. And uh, that's how you use a bearing press. All right, taking out your bearings using your axle is not exactly my preferred method of taking your bearings out with. Um, it's kind of like a last resort if you don't already have a tool to do it with. But what you're going to want to do is get your wheel and find out where your bearings are sitting. Um, most wheels, they sit offset, so that means they're sitting off to the side. Now, you're going to want to find the middle of those two bearings. So that would be about right in here somewhere. So remember where that is. You're going to want to put your wheel onto your axle and put the tip of the post where you think where you think the middle is. So that's going to be right around in here somewhere. Okay. So what you're going to do is rock back like you're going to try to pry it out, but you're not going to pry it out with the aluminum hub. You're going to want to pull, um, go back and then pull up. Okay. So rock back and pull up. Okay. So your bearing should come out. Now with a plastic hub, all you have to do is pry the bearing out. So kind of guess where the middle is of those two bearings. I'd be remember right about in here, and then just pry it off. You might have to adjust it a couple times to get a good grip on the inside, and it should come out. Okay. Now putting your bearing back in using your axle, all you do is put the bearing on the axle or the post of the axle, and then put your wheel on and just push it out. Okay, and that's how you use your axle.